Electric bill, toss it. Heating bill, forget it. Global warming, put it on ice. Imagine if your house was a carbon neutral power station that supplied all of your energy needs, including fueling your car, making gas stations a thing of the past. Sound like Ed Begley Jr.'s green fantasy? Not to an MIT researcher whose blockbuster breakthrough has everyone buzzing and it's getting rave reviews. In a world where burning non-renewable fossil fuels threatens the very existence of all creatures on Earth. One super scientist may have solved one of science's most vexing problems, harnessing the awesome power of the sun. A major discovery with enormous implications for the future prosperity of humankind. The most important single discovery of the century. Meet MIT chemistry professor Dan Nocera. In one hour, the amount of energy that hits the face of the planet from the sun is what we use to power the entire world in a year. It's pretty crazy we aren't using it. The key problem is how do you store the sunlight when the sun isn't shining? Nocera and his team say they've made a major breakthrough in how we can capture the sun's energy one inspired by nature itself. So what do these leaves do? They're absorbing the sunlight and there's electricity buzzing through these leaves. Actually, I just got shot. No, I didn't. Because there's no wires in a leaf. But they're the best at taking sunlight and converting sunlight into a chemical fuel. In this case, hydrogen and oxygen. But look at that. I mean, that thing's humming. And you can see bubbles coming over there, and that's hydrogen. So on this side, we have hydrogen. On this side, we have oxygen. The science that we developed is actually an old science. When you were in school, a teacher put two electrodes in water, and then when the teacher passed electricity through the electrodes, it made hydrogen and oxygen from water. That's called electrolysis. Electrolysis is high school science. But to get the alternative fuel hydrogen out of water, your teacher had to use a lot of energy. Nocera's team figured out how to dramatically reduce the amount of energy needed and to do it with cheap, abundant materials like cobalt and phosphate. Oh, this is just great. Look at it. Solar energy is the key. And that's why Nocera's seemingly simple solution could turn out to be such a breakthrough. Today's home solar panels either only work during the day or they feed their electricity into large batteries which are expensive and inefficient. If you can only get hydrogen out of water, all of a sudden you don't need a gas station or a power station. And you're in control of your own energy in your own house, that's how you're going to live. And so that's what this discovery starts enabling you to think about because it's so cheap. Harvard physicist Eric Mazur says Nocera's breakthrough doesn't solve all the problems. One of the major engineering challenges that lay ahead is to find a convenient and manageable way of storing the hydrogen. You'd need huge tanks to store the highly flammable hydrogen gas you'd need to power your home. And solar panels need to be cheaper and more efficient. But time is running out for meeting our energy demands with fossil fuels. And even though the technical and engineering challenges remain phenomenal, it's inventions like these that move us in the right direction and give us hope for the future. With the whole world depending on clean, renewable sources of energy, Nocera is feeling like the future might not be so dark after all. Every night I was driving home, I would look up at all these guys in this little beautiful thing and I said, I own you, I finally can do what you do. If that doesn't get you excited, then don't do science.